and today back in control is Martin Fourcade from France. Martin, how did you experience your race today? Uh, my race was uh, really good. Uh, uh, I was a bit nervous on the last uh, bullets. I missed the last of the pawns, the last of the standing. But uh, anyway, I was uh, quite in control. I uh, felt really good on the skis today, and uh, that was a, a big uh, key of my of my success today. And it's good to to find this uh, find back this position in uh, in Antols. Uh, it's uh, my only my second victory here. The last one was in the Masters in 2011. So it's been a while, and I'm really satisfied and really happy to be back on on the top of the podium in Antols. And you said uh, after the sprint that uh, you love Antholz, but Antholz does not love you back. You think that changed around? Yeah, I hope so. But uh, still, it's not a really good statistic for me winning only two, two, two times in uh, in ten years of competition in Antholz. But no, the the weekend was really nice. Uh, I had not uh, my best uh, skill level on the two first competition, but. Today I was uh, really good on the skis and it gives me confidence for the Olympic. Also, want to keep my uh, want to keep my anger from the last ammunition I missed for being uh, uh, yeah like uh, to keep keep some things to to work on for the Olympics. Um, and actually, what are your plans uh, before the Olympics? I will be back home uh, tonight, really late. Uh, so I will not answer really long, but uh, I, I will be back late tonight and then I will have a few days rest. Uh, I will try to, to enjoy uh, as much time as possible with my, uh, my daughters and to keep this energy and to take this energy and this love to, to, to bring that with me in Korea because I, I will need that, uh, that kind of, uh, of feelings for being uh, happy and, uh, and being good for the Olympic competitions. Thank you, Martin. Good luck. And in second place today, we have Tarie Bu. Um, Tarie, what was your focus before the race today? Yeah, to to just think about myself in the, the standing shooting. I, the shooting in the sprint and pursuit was really, really bad. And uh, I was, to be honest, I was really angry <laughs> yesterday and today. So I just, I needed some revenge. And uh, yeah, today it was better. But I also felt a little lucky when you, you miss in the last shooting. Uh, it's not always you get the podium, but everyone did the same. And then it was a fight with uh, with my teammate for the second place. Yes, uh, and in fact, uh, your teammate uh, Erland has uh, his first podium in, uh, in his career. Do you remember your first podium? Um, uh, I yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> I, think I... Remembers. I think I, it was uh, in Hockfield, I think it was my first victory, it was also my first podium. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, I know now. <laughs> it's right? <laughs> I think you were third on the pursuit in uh, Ostersund. No, oh. I was fourth. <laughs> uh, don't ever give money for, to Marta to make some betting, it would be a <laughs> bad investment. <laughs> Check this information later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sprint in Hope Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, actually, speaking about uh, the next races in uh, Pyeongchang, um, uh, what are your plans before going to Olympics? Uh, yeah, we are staying, the whole, the whole Norwegian team are staying here some days now until Thursday. Just. Just yeah, for restitution actually, not so much training, but uh, we want to stay as a team here and then be a little bit at home before we leave and not the, the opposite way as many nations do. Uh, so it seems like type of the same uh, thing as yeah, Marta is, is going to do, uh, spend time home and uh, yeah, not do too much, not do too, too little, but just continue like we, like we have done so far. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. And in third place, uh, we have uh, Erlend Bottengard, who has his first podium in uh, in his career. Uh, Erlend, uh, uh, today before the race, uh, did you think this would be the day for your first podium? Uh, I was just uh, very focused today on trying to do as I do every day on training, and uh, that's it. That's it, actually. 
And how did you experience the battle with your teammate <sighs> in the last loop? Yeah, it was uh, quite fun, actually. Um, I've had a lot of hard sessions with uh, this guy now the two past years, and um, we were actually talking together during the, the, the fourth loop and the, the last loop, and we tried to make uh, exchange and who's in, in front. And um, I think that worked out quite well, and uh, <laughs> I know that he is, he's strong in the head, especially in the end, but um, I think I, I gave it a, a good shot, and I really tried. Um, thank you. Uh, congratulations. And do we have any other questions from other journalists? No, thank you.